Yeah. No, it's too obvious, too predictable. Oh, uh... I think she wants serving, mate. Or is it self-service today? Um, Sean! Uh, could you serve Carla, please? I'm pretty sure that's in my job description, yes. What are you two looking all furtive about? Why not? Don't know what it means. <laughs> Have you seen the state of them two? They've been like that all afternoon, in cahoots. We're not in cahoots, Sean. We're in a booth. <laughs> could you serve Carla, please? They're doing that really obvious blokey thing of whispering and pulling faces. It's better. Mm. Anyway, what can I get you, cock? Eight bottles of red, is it? Huh? <clears throat> or just the glass? Just the glass, please, Sean. Oh, anyway, you got over here sharpish, didn't you? Ah, well, when you buy a job, you're like me. You learn to get your skates on. I think I get that from my mum. Maureen was forever darting between the family planning clinic and the off-license. She cleaned both places. Ah. Mm. Okay, she's upset. We're talking about football, if you must know, Carla. Mm, no, you're not talking about football. You don't talk about football quietly. My cousin Jodie would, actually. Yeah, but blokes don't. She had a nodule removed at Weatherfield General. She's not uttered a word since. A petting zoo. Petting zoo? You want to send a petting zoo round to Neil's gaff? Well, it's less obvious than sending a load of pizzas with extra cheese. He lives on a street, not know his arc. I need to play him at his own game, be cleverer and more... Weird. No, weird's good. No, we'll mess with his head. Andrew will kill him if she finds out. No, listen, we've got to outwit him. We can't let that clown win. I've just had a genius idea. Go on, then. Oh, you're gonna love it. He's taking his time, isn't he? Why is that? Mind you, we did have a fifth birthday party to go to in Hellbounds before this. So... Ooh, Hellbounds party! <laughs> he's a very busy boy. I wonder if he's got a collapsible car. Ooh, I'd be very disappointed if he hasn't. We're going to always collapse it for him. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be a murder's van if I doubt about this. What's this? Bingo! <laughs> Don't bottle it now, mate. Thanks for Billy the Cologne. Nice one. He was really good. Who? Oh, sorry, mate. I don't know who you're talking about. Although, if you really did want to send in the clones, I don't know why the pair of you didn't just turn up. He's lost me. Has he lost you? Uh, I was clever. Gave me quite a surprise. And him. When he realised there was no kids' party. I'm sorry, mate. I don't know what you're talking about. He was a good laugh, actually. Mm. Bit of a clown, was he? In fact, his missus has just left him. Uh, traded him in for a mime artist from Melling. We're going to go for a pint next week. You might have made a new mate, then. Ah, oh, well, I hope you'd be very happy together. I won't tell Andrew. Well, it's any days, isn't it? <laughs> this time. I probably deserved it. Anyway, could you pass on a message for me to Andrew? No one's been taken down in the hospital. I'm just on my way over there now. Um, could you tell her for me? Right. Hey, that might be Billy. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I'll take it. I feel prison. Steve, listen, don't hang up. It's me. You there, Steve? What do you want? It's just I'm having a really lousy time here, pal. Good. Lost everything. Lost Simon. I, I can't cope. What do you want? I want you to come and see me. No. Please? Look, I'll, I'll send a visit in order anyway, just in case you change your mind. Why are you doing this to me? Steve, I, I'm lost. Please. I've got to go. 